Hi, I'm Cheryl Rogers Barnett, and I want to welcome you to this episode of Along the Trail. My special guest today is Kristen Harris, who was just named Entertainer of the Year by the Western Music Association. Congratulations, Kristen. Thank That's you. wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, Kristen's going to do a number for us, and then we'll talk. From this valley Thank you. Thank you. It takes me back to my childhood because mm. when we were kids and the Rogers were in a car, uh-huh. Dad never had the radio on. Everybody would sing. sing. And, of course, the old wonderful songs like Red River, River Valley. Valley. Yeah, love that. Yeah, it never gets old. No, beautiful. Yeah. Now, you got started or discovered at the Cowtown Opry? Well, um... Cowtown Opry really helped me. Uh, it's where I developed as a performer. Before I discovered Cowtown Opry, I actually started playing guitar and singing and yodeling because of Roy Rogers movies and Dale Evans <laughs> and Gene Autry. That, that's really what uh, honestly made me want to play guitar. And so I started learning those songs straight out of the movies got a little book of guitar chords. So I was doing a little bit, but I wasn't really performing anywhere until I discovered the Cowtown Opry. And that's what helped me develop as a performer. And you were how old at that point? I was 14. Wow. Yeah. Incredible. <laughs> it was, thank you. It was a... Yeah, the Cowtown Opry did so much for me. That's a great organization. I mean, I'm so impressed with it, and now I guess they're going to be part of the Fort Worth Rodeo. So, oh, yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's yeah. super. Really exciting. Yeah. So other than being named Entertainer of the Year, you've got an album out. and I do, yeah. I have a couple albums. Um, write a little bit of music, uh, kind of in the old style, and... Uh, get to play at a lot of western festivals cowboy festivals and things like that super you've got a website that you can i do yes. tell our viewers about my website is uh kristenharris.com k-r-i-s-t-y-n 
H A R R I S. Yeah. That's great. And y'all are going to want to go there and see what all Kristen's got on there. And do you have your albums for sale there? I do. You can get my right. albums there. Yeah. You can download them. You can buy them and have them shipped or all that, all that good stuff. Want to talk a little bit about your schedule. I know you're all over the country, but uh, what have you got coming up later in the spring? Well, I'm uh, going to get to play for the 25th anniversary of the Santa Clarita Cowboy Festival. Oh, that's wonderful. In California. Yeah, I'm excited about that. They're have, bringing back everybody that's played there over the years. Wow. Yeah. Some great people. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that's in April. Uh, in May, I'm going to be at uh, Mule Days in Bishop, California. So that'll be really fun. And uh, I think lots of things throughout the rest of the year, too. <laughs> well, I know you stay busy all the time. So I'm so delighted that we had a chance to oh, see too. you, and especially like the day after you got named <laughs> Entertainer of the Year. I love saying that. <laughs> I'm sure you enjoy hearing it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh, that is super. I so enjoy. Last year, uh, my husband Larry and I were at the Western Music Association yes. Festival in Albuquerque, and I, the competition is so stiff. It is. On that. There's incredible talent. So and yeah, it it uh, it's intimidating. I bet. <laughs> but it's also inspiring. Yeah. Well, and I think it gets better every year. I've been on the advisory board for oh, the WMA okay. for a long time, many years. Mm -hmm. And whenever I attend, I can always almost see a leap wow. in the quality. That's of great. the performers and the material and all. And I, I love to see all you young people coming up. There's a lot more young people. The first year I went to WMA, um, it was me and one other girl, probably only ones under 50 years old. And now they've got like 37 people in the youth chapter. So it's really cool. Oh, yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah. And, and great voices and good material. And you guys are getting a chance to do CDs and all. Yes. So I want all of you out there to go on to the different websites and YouTube and everything and see what you can find out there. Because there is some really talented young people performing some great Western music. I understand you were in Europe lately. Yes, I got to uh, go over and play a couple festivals in, in France and in Italy. And that was so cool. The, the Europeans really embrace Western music and anything, anybody with a cowboy hat. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> it's great. Yes, I love it. Um, it's they they really want to keep it alive, and so I'm I'm going back and here in about a week. Wow, that's fabulous. Well, I knew uh, that the French mm -hmm. had discovered a love affair with cowboys and yes. Western things, but also I think Germany and yes. Belgium, Sweden. The Europeans, I think, prize our Western heritage more sometimes than the people in our own country, which to me yeah. is sort of a sad commentary on us, yeah. but it's wonderful that our music is being spread so much wider. Yeah, I agree. I think here probably we just take it for granted a little bit, and and over there it's it's more unusual or more of a novelty and I mean but you know the American West and cowboys have always been a fascinating subject for everyone so yeah I'm glad that that Europe loves it well and now we're getting more TV channels they're mm -hmm. playing the old Western movies yes. of course here on Western Stars Theater we're of course showing the old classic Western movies and TV shows and interviews with mm -hmm. current people. So we're having a good time and we're really trying to boost the awareness of the Western lifestyle and what's out there. And of course, music is a huge part mm. of our Western heritage. It is. Kristen, not only did you get 
Entertainer of the Year from the Western Music Association, but you also got another big honor from the Pro Cowboy Country Artist Association. Oh, well, the the guy that started it, Royal Wade Kime, uh, contacted me telling me that he had, was starting this association, and I got sent a application form to become a member, so I did. And uh, the next thing I knew, I was getting a letter saying I was nominated. That's just kind of how it happened. And that's a new group. One of it is, yeah. I think that association was just formed this year, and it's really cool because they're um, trying to, you know, honor not just music categories, but um, craftsmanship and, and authors and anything to do with uh, Western craft. And um, so that was in Fort Smith, Arkansas this year, and it was... Wow. Uh, televised and it was a it was a really great event and the one you won I uh, was entertainer of the year Wow <laughs> so congratulations I mean with both groups thank you well earned I know that you have worked so hard and I think it's great <laughs> thank you so Kristen I want to thank you so much uh, best of luck the rest of the year Thank and you. you're writing songs for a new album that's yes. really thrilling yes yes I'm excited so about that you have to come back and tell us once you get the new album you going. bet you bet so yeah look <laughs> thank you for having me it. oh and all of you out there be sure and tune in to another episode of along the trail thank you for being with us today and happy trails mm -hmm.